In the world of generative AI models, quantization is a blessing. It is a gift from heaven because it enables mere models like us to run these models either on CPU or on commodity hardware GPUs. Quantization simply means that it is a technique to reduce the computational and memory costs of evaluating deep learning models by representing their weights and activations with low precision data types like 8-bit integer instead of the usual 32-bit floating point. Reducing the number of bits means the resulting model requires less memory storage, which is crucial for deploying LLMs on consumer devices. It also enables specific optimization for lower bit data types such as int8 or float8 matrix multiplications on CUDA devices from NVIDIA. I have mentioned weights and activations. Primarily what happens is that we reduce the storage size of these either weights or activations or both. Weights are parameters in the model that determine how information is processed and transformed within the model. Activations are the outputs or signal produced at each neuron or node in the model representing the processed information flowing through the network. In this video, I am introducing you to Quanto and we will also see it in action as how you can get it installed and quantize a model by using Quanto. Quanto is a tool from Hugging Face which is used to quantize a model. Quanto is a versatile PyTorch quantization toolkit which has various features such as it is available in eager mode. Quantized models can be placed on any device including CUDA and MPS. It automatically inserts quantization and dequantization stubs. It automatically inserts quantized functional operations. It automatically inserts quantized modules. It provides a seamless workflow from a float model to a dynamic to a static quantized model. It also supports serialization which is compatible with PyTorch. Wait only at safe time sets. It uses integer matrix multiplications on CUDA devices. It supports int2, int4, int8 and float8 weights. And it also supports int8 and float8 activations. And there are a lot of things which I could go on and on. But what I will do, I will drop the link to this Quanto page from Hugging Face and you can go through it. They also have a GitHub repo if you are interested in the source code and all that stuff. It is It comes under the Apache 2 license, which is again really great of Hugging Face. Now, let me show you how you can get it installed and then how you can quantize a model. These same steps you can run on any local system or in Colab or Notebook or any Jupyter enabled one where you have Python installed. So let's get started. So I am on my Google Colab at the moment. You can just run it on CPU, but I have just changed the runtime to T4 GPU. First, let's install few of the prerequisites. So here I am installing Transformer, Quanto, Torch and Sentence Piece. All of these are needed. Sentence Piece is uh, required for the Model T5, which I am going to use from Google. Let's wait for all of these to get installed. It don't take too long. Okay, everything is installed. Let me specify the model. Let me copy it again. So this is the model. Plan T5 small. Let me run it. And now let's import the tokenizer and also the model. You can see that I am importing this model, tokenizer, and then this model. The model is quite small. It won't take too long. Let's wait for the model to get imported. That's it. All done. Let's move on to the next step. Now model model is loaded and our tokenizer is loaded. Let's pass some of the input to the model and generate the output. I'm just passing it that meaning of happiness is and then um, I'm just asking it, uh, passing it tokenizer and generating the output. Maybe I'll just keep it a bit simpler. I'll just say just 
Tiffany is located in. There you go. So it has uh, correctly told me Sydney, Australia. Now let's check the model size, which is the original size without quantization. I'm just using this helper um, function courtesy to the Andrew NG's DLI and you can get it from there. So you can see that this is simply 0 0.30 gigabyte. So this is actual size of model. Now we are going to quantize this model with Quanto and then we will check out the size. So for Quanto, let's import a Quanto's module and we would need quantize and freeze with it. Let's import it. It is done. And now let's quantize the model. And in order to quantize the model, all we need to do is to pass it model and then weight that we want to quantize in, into int 8. We can also select other, um, you know, data types too, but let's go with int 8. We can also activate the, uh, sorry, quantize activations, but we are not doing it. And if you remember, I was telling you that uh, Quanto supports the int 8 and float 8 activation. And for weights, it supports, like you can put int 2, int 4, int 8, and float 8 weights there. But let's go with uh, int 8 for now. Let's run it. And it, you see how quick that is. Because the model is very small. And now, now let's check the model size. There you go. So you see the actual model size was 0 0.30 it has now cut down to 0 0.12 so even less than half how good is that and now let's check the inference again on the quantize model i'm just going to copy it from above and maybe run it here let's check out here There you go. So you see, so there is no impact on the inference and the model size has also been reduced. Let's try to see if we can do it to int 2. There you go. So let's try it out. I am just going to do int 2. Okay, int 2 is not. Okay, so it's not supporting at the moment. That is fine. Maybe I would need to. Uh, maybe let's check int 4. That supports int 8 at the moment. Let's do int 8. Going wrong here. I just had to run the previous step and now it is working fine. So you can see that how easy it is to quantize the model with the help of Quanto and look at the size. I mean, this just cuts down the size even less than half. And then then doesn't have much impact on the inference, maybe for the bigger ones, but not on this one. And of course, you can use it on any model from Hugging Face and then go with it. But remember that if you are doing a bigger model, you might need more memory. So that's it, guys. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions or uh, thoughts, please share them in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.